36. You're the photo editor at Life Magazine. Uh, the folks have brought in a well-written article about the plight of the migrant farm workers that are out in California. And your job is to select one of four photographs that have come to you. Um, and these uh, photographs <coughs> I'm going to deliver to you on your learning catalytics, but also show here on the big screen. Again, you have to pick one photograph which you believe would uh, best depict the uh, plight of the farm workers. And here And if you refresh your screens, you'll see we've got almost half of you picking uh, photo D and then kind of a split between A and B. So, so does somebody want to speak to why they chose photo D? Anyone? Uh, I see someone with their hand up in the back. Um, I chose D because I think that it captures more than one aspect of the life of the migrant worker because it's not just the individual, it's the family. And the living standards as well are clearly expressed in this photo as well. Okay. Someone else want to make a case for another one of the photos or support what they've already mentioned? We've we've heard about B and we've heard about D. Boy uh, and dog. I chose A because I feel like A I can see the the despair a little better. If I if I choose D, I'm sort of making an assumption about how they're feeling about their situation. I can see a better description of their situation, but I don't really know how that's affecting them. With A, I feel like I can see the effect of, of, of what's what's around them on the people themselves. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver the question again, and I'd like you to answer it a second time and see if perhaps uh, your thinking has changed or evolved. You take into account what people said about each photo and that you maybe change your decision or you stick with your decision more firmly? Okay. And so in this particular case, if we're using the word evaluate to describe what you were doing, what what were you doing? Okay. Judging the components of the pictures, deciding which components of the pictures are most relevant. Okay, so you were making a judgment. Does the description of evaluate stop there? No, you're justifying it as well, I guess, in the second part of what you asked us to do. Okay, so it was a judgment and a justification. And so if we look at the nature of what it means to evaluate, um, it really is about a thoughtful choice.